It is my privilege today to welcome all of you to attend this technical session on this most important issue of carbon credits and auditing. Eminent speakers from with expertise in related subject will present their views on this important subject concerning environment and human life. The subject matter of today's program is of important nature dealing with cleaner atmosphere and human life in future. Friends, as you all know, the biggest challenge facing the world today is the global warming. And scientists all over the world are applying their brain to limit the extent of warming and the effects of it. As we all acknowledge, the global warming refers to rising average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere and oceans and its related effects. In the last 100 years or so, the average temperature of the Earth has gone up by almost 0.8 degrees centigrade, with two-thirds of this increasing in the last two to three decades. Now, the warming of climate system is, this warming is taking place because of increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases caused by human activities such as deforestation and burning of fossil fuels. Carbon dioxide, the most important greenhouse gas produced by combustion of fuels, has become a global cause of panic as concentration in the Earth's atmosphere has been rising alarmingly. It is therefore natural that all efforts are being made to reduce emission of greenhouse gases globally to protect ourselves, our economy and our land from adverse effect of climate change. We should reduce emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. To achieve this goal, the concept of clean development mechanism has come into vogue as a part of Kyoto Protocol. The Kyoto, Kyoto Protocol has created a mechanism under which the countries that have been emitting more carbon and other gases have voluntarily decided that they will bring down the emissions from the 1990 level by about 5%. A company has two or three ways to reduce the emissions. They can do technical technological development in their productivity, in their emissions, and also, or it can tie up with the developing nations help, and help them set up new technology that is eco-friendly, thereby helping developing country or its companies can earn credits. The clean development mechanism is an arrangement under the Kyoto Protocol allowing industrialized countries with greenhouse gases reduction commitment to invest in emission reducing projects in the developing countries as an alternative to what is generally considered more costly emission reduction in their own countries. The developed countries would be given credits for meeting its emission reduction targets while the developing countries would receive capital and clean technology to improve the project. Carbon credits are certificates which are issued to countries that reduce their emission of greenhouse gases which causes global warming. Carbon credits are measured, measured in units of certified emission reductions, each CER equal to one ton of carbon dioxide reduction. 